I'm a loser, no chance to win. I'm a loser, no chance to win. I'm a loser, no chance to win. I'm a loser, 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 no chance to win. Hello, hello, I'm back, I'm back, Eric Arnold, here in the sports barn, the loser barn, as we bring you more losing college basketball picks uh, for Friday, uh, the 12th of February, two wins, eight losers, one tie last night, um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to win. I am really trying to win. Um, we are this week four wins, three lo uh, losses on Tuesday, five and eight on Wednesday, two and eight yesterday. That makes us eleven wins, nineteen losses for the week. Uh, if you're wondering how that breaks down overall, we're below five hundred for the season. We've been below five hundred since this blank pandemic started. Um, yeah, I, I, before you leave, you could be in a unique position, though. However, we are consistently shitty. So, if you do the opposite, you have a chance to make some real money. Uh, if you just do the opposite of what I'm telling you, you got a chance to win some bucks. Because, why haven't I done that? Wife, uh, who keeps asking me that? Because it's a lot easier said than done when you're like trying to, you know, I guess you can just like, once it's all said and done, and right before I start the show, if I just flip it, I guess, I, you know, maybe it isn't that difficult. You know, maybe I'm just making things more difficult than they need to be. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've tried mix and matching. I've tried following my system. I've tried doing the opposite of the system. I've tried everything. I, I guess I haven't tried everything because that means I would have found some winning in there. I haven't tried winning. I haven't done that yet. So we're still looking. We're still Edison on his uh, 7,938 light bulb attempt, uh, whereas the correct one is 10,000. So uh, in reality, I'm probably more back around 2,500 than 10,000. So I told you it'd be a 10 year project. Uh, this video slash handicapping deal would be a 10 year deal till we actually made uh, a success out of it. So we're entering year two here. Uh, yeah. yeah, so what, what do we have here? I mean, uh, let's see uh, if you had any of these. Uh, Tennessee Martin, loser, Fairly Dickinson. I was surprised about that one. I actually felt pretty good about that one because I don't think Wagner's any good. But, of course, uh, that didn't happen. Fairly Dickinson had usually beaten Wagner. Didn't matter. Uh, this was a tie. This was a tie, this Purdue-Minnesota game. Um, this is here. Let me wave my little magic wand here to signal myself when I edit the video. We're going to drop in our slide here. The hero of the night uh, would be from this game. That's how shitty the night was that we have to... Uh, put our hero of the night into, uh, into a game that we tied. Gabe Kalsher? 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 If I listen, I watch these games with the sound on, I guess I'd know how to pronounce it, but Gabe Kalsher uh, from Minnesota Junior, originally from Medina, Minnesota. Uh, he played great defense down the stretch, at least it seemed to me. Seemed like this guy was hustling. This guy was, uh, you know, trying to clap up his team and get him going. Uh, you know, Marcus Carr, he's the one the newspapers will tell you was a hero. But to me, he had a shitty game. You know, he just lucked in a three at the end there that uh, put him ahead. Uh, Kalsher was the guy that had to make the two free throws with almost no time remaining to put him up three. You know, we don't, remember, we don't give a damn about wins and losses. We care about covering the number. So he put it at three. That was a tie for me. I think a lot of you people might have won that game. 
you know, you might have had it at minus two and a half. And if you, uh, you did, you are a daisy. Congratulations. Uh, so that was a, a tie. Uh, Utah had to lead the whole damn game, the whole damn game. And Gooden hold it. They won 76-75. Not enough. You know, I, I, there's probably, I've thought about that. I need to, I thought, should I have an acid or a dick of the get, a day or something like that? You know, I thought, no, nah, I mean, if a player plays badly, it's not his fault. It's my fault for not, you know, for seeing that and betting against him. So, you know, it's, we'll have a hero of the day. That's it. We'll have a hero of the day. And that was Gabe Kalsher. Oh, I forgot to say. Salute, Gabe Kalsher. All right, where were we? Presbyterian, they beat Hampton. Um, Colorado crushed Stanford. Long Island loses to Mount St. Mary. This was one of our only wins here. Joey Gallo. Oh, Joey Gallo. He beats uh, Daniel Marshall. Uh, one of our only wins. Uh, Iowa State. It, it, I know that team has a dog of a player uh, on the top of their roster. Uh, that kid from Penn State. And I just keep playing, you know. And so that's my fault, you know. When you got a kid like that, you, you know, and he's your best player, what are you going to do? So uh, they get crushed. Uh, UNLV, they got, they were close. They hung around, they hung around, they hung around, and they just couldn't close the deal, losing by 12. And then this was our other winner. Um, you know, I guess... No matter what's up and what's left and what's down and what's right, uh, fading Mick Cronin's never a bad play, I guess. So that was two and eight, and then there's our one tie. So disaster. Um, I was thinking about this, you know, as I continue to go through this endless winter of uh, losses. Um, this is a, what the five stages of grief. Um, I've gotten where I'm going through this pretty quick now, where, you know, denial, oh my god, I cannot believe I'm losing another game, you know, I'm getting through that one pretty fast, I mean, it's like, I cannot believe, well, of course I believe it, I me, mean, of course I believe it, <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it, it when they hit all at once like this, night denial lasts just, you know, a little bit longer, maybe another 30 seconds longer, but uh, for the most part, you're through that pretty fast. Uh, I might have had to smash anything last night, anger. Um, you know, that, that, that one's a touchy one. That one can come and go. You know, sometimes you're able to fend that one off. Um, but then other times you just, you know... Maybe it was a game you really thought you had right, and you really spent a lot of time on it, and it, you know then you're just getting your ass kicked, and you're like, you get frustrated. Uh, so anger, yeah, I haven't quite mastered that one yet. I don't understand this one, frankly, bargaining. I don't know what that means. I mean, is that mean? Maybe that's where I'm like telling myself, all right, if I just spend more time working on this, it. it, it, it or if this pandemic will eventually end and the sports world will go back to their normal patterns, uh, then everything will be okay. If that, maybe that's what it is, because if that's what it is, I spend a lot of time in there. You know, uh, it's just things are going to end. And these patterns will go back to normal. You know, so perhaps I spend a lot of time there. I know I spend a lot of time there in depression, where, yeah, just, you know, um, uh, I don't know, lately I've been able to fend it off, uh, but, you know, I can see if we have a bad weekend, uh, <laughs> I mean, and then acceptance, I mean, you know, like I said, I'm ripping through these pretty fast sometimes, I guess for, for today, I'm over here in acceptance, you know, for now, it, 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 yeah, I guess it, it, when I have a real tragedy in my life, when my like elderly father passes away, I'll, I'll probably go through this in like you know uh, sixty seconds. <laughs> so he'll probably be like, "Oh, he's dead." Yeah, you know, that was bound to happen. I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm angry about. I guess I'd be angry that he didn't get to live his last couple of years as a free person. Uh, bargaining. Um, well, I guess, uh, you know, I'd say, oh, well, my mother's still alive. I guess I'd be bargaining. 
depression, I'd be sad, and then I'd probably be like, oh, I'm sad, I'm going to miss him. And what's for dinner? Uh, I'm hungry. You know, I'd be right into acceptance. So, um, yeah, if you're losing to gambling, I guess isn't the worst thing in the world. You learn how to manage your grief pretty rapidly. So, there you have that. Um, what else? What else? Get to it, right? All right, I didn't put it up there. All right, I'm going to wait my arms here because now I'm going to drop the picks in into uh, the uh, uh, screen and you can look at them. There you have them. There you have them. They're all system picks. Uh, and not one of these goddamn games is on TV as far as I can tell. You know, it looks like it's uh, mid-major Friday and... Uh, I'm not sure why the networks do this. It's, uh, maybe they've got other non-college basketball programming they want to show you. I guess, uh, you know, are there other sports? I, I guess the National Basketball Association. Well, whatever. But, uh, yeah, it, 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 don't look too hard. I mean, basically, it's simply all road teams. Just take the road team. That's what we're doing, the whole thing. Um, 14 games, all right? 14 games. And you're saying, well, you're just guessing now. You're just randomly picking names. No, no. You know, there's actual logic behind each one of these picks. I just can't. It's basically all the same logic. That you know, teams in these little tiny mid and minor league conferences on the road generally cover more than the, the home teams. Now, that obviously isn't working. So here's your opportunity to make money and just do the opposite of what I'm doing. But um, it, it, I've, I've gotten to the point now where it's like, you know, it seems like if I leave one out, that covers. It's like, well, damn it, we'll fix that. We'll just take them all. We'll just take them all. That way we won't have that problem. So we're taking them all here, 14 games. And, uh, well, let's read them off here. Uh, we got Canisius, that's kicking early here in the uh, 1 o'clock, I guess. Uh, they're getting four and a half from Quinnipiac with the Q. I probably got set to 10 viewers just by saying the word Q. I uh, probably wasted another 10 minutes because YouTube will like now I have to scour the whole damn video because I keep saying the word Q. Uh, nope, there goes another 15 minutes of my life as YouTube will... Uh, you know, scrutinize it to the edge that I'm not putting out some hidden message on to the QAnon people. So, um, we're taking the uh, Canisius plus the four and a half. Uh, that's in the Metro. Also in the Metro, we have Manhattan. Uh, they're getting four and a half from uh, Rick Pitino and Iona. I mean, if you think about that, you maybe you're catching an extra point in value just because of the name Rick Pitino. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, 17 points, we're getting 17 points from the Thundering Herd. Uh, so we'll take it with uh, Middle Tennessee State. Uh, Southeast Missouri State, now we're into the, uh, what are we into? Oh, that's the Valley, the Ohio Valley. So we'll take Southeast Missouri State uh, and the 13 points against the Racers of Murray State. Long Beach State, uh, they're getting eight from UC Davis. We'll take it. Uh, North Florida, uh, I think that's the Atlantic Sun, isn't it? Uh, North Florida, they're getting 14 and a half from Liberty. We'll take that. Uh, Milwaukee, getting 17 and a half in the horizon from Wright State. I once bet $18,000 on uh, Milwaukee, uh, not, not the Bucks, uh, the uh, uh, Wisconsin Milwaukee. Uh, that was in the mid 90s. Uh, it lost, but uh, I did it. Uh, that is, where, where were we? Milwaukee, we're gonna take 17 and a half for them against Wright State. This might be the best game of the night and it's not on TV. Temple, um, is getting six and a half from Cincinnati. I remember sitting in a hotel room, I think I was in Burlington, Vermont, of all places, watching Temple, and I'm pretty sure this was, it was either an Elite Eight game, or it was around the 16, probably it was around the eight. I'm, 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 uh, 
But I remember Temple playing Cincinnati, and I can't remember the outcome. I'm thinking Temple must have lost, I guess, because I don't know John Chaney ever made the Final Four. So, uh, but it was, uh, I know Cincinnati had a fantastic team, but then so did Temple. They had, uh, you know, that was that Aaron McKee team, uh, who now coaches the team. What does this have to do with Temple beating Cincinnati tonight? I have no idea. Uh, so what's next? UAB, they're, they're, they've got a real good record in the uh, Conference USA. They have like only two losses, and they're just a one-point underdog against Louisiana Tech, so there might be something you like. Uh, Denver, uh, Denver actually has a basketball team, apparently. Um if you had the tickets, conference is probably watched by the least amount of people. I would say it might be the summit. Uh, so Denver, they're six and a half point underdogs against Western Illinois. We'll take that. Rice getting ten from Western Kentucky. I'll take that. North, Omaha versus Kansas City. That, that sounds like a sexy matchup. Omaha versus Kansas City. Six and a half points. We'll take it. Detroit, three and a half. Uh, from Cleveland State, uh, it amazes me reading these old newspapers, what schools used to be deals, powers, you know, if you will. The Detroit Mercy didn't always used to be some tiny little joke that for a while there they had a pretty good team. A team like Davidson used to be a top 10 team, Drake, Bradley. Um, I, I find that interesting. Uh, maybe if I read less old newspapers and actually, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I could be doing that I'm not doing right now. But I guess if I knew that, I'd be doing it. And lastly, we got Fint, F Florida International. Flint, Fint, whatever. Florida International, they're catching seven and a half from UTEP. There you have it, 14 games. So, I'll just pause here and uh, let you stare at that uh, uh, screenshot of all 14 games and you can uh, you know, get your little pencil out and write them all down. This also, we're trying to, you know, um, I guess I'm spending more time now trying to learn how to video edit and make these videos a little more clean, a little more professional, uh, rather than picking winners, which I've convinced myself is going to be impossible until sports goes back to normal. Uh, so uh, you'll probably get, again, you're probably lucking out in that you just fade me and enjoy the increasingly professional video editing that I'm trying to do. Uh, so I'm hoping this video will turn out okay. Uh, it'll probably be just fine until 1 o'clock when Canisius tips off against Key winning Quinnipiac. Q. There's another five minutes out of my life. Q. Uh, so, all right, that's all we got for you. So, um, hey, hit the like button if you, uh, you're uh, fading these games and making money. If you're just like uh, standing by watching me uh, pour gasoline on myself and waiting for me to light the match, hit the like button. You know, go ahead. Uh, good, thanks. We'll talk again. I do want to get one up for the weekend. I mean, uh, getting this one done relatively early, so I'm going to try maybe to get one out here for all the 100 games that are going to be played tomorrow. You know, we might have, uh, depending on how much I can get done, we might just pump out like 70 games for you tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. Talk again. Signing off. <laughs>